I'm publishing this video because I want the world to know how much danger the American Transportation Security Administration is putting us all in with their haste to deploy the expensive, invasive nude body scanner program. When the machines came out, we were told that the invasion of our privacy, doses of radiation, and trashing of our constitution were necessary because the old metal detectors weren't good enough, that non-metallic explosives were a threat, even though no one has boarded a plane in the U.S. with any type of explosive in nearly 40 years. But while America was testing these devices, Rafi Sella, who ran security for Ben Gurion Airport in Israel, which is known for being one of the most secure airports in the world, was quoted as saying he could overcome the body scanners with enough explosives to take down a Boeing 747, and Ben Gurion therefore refused to buy the scanners. The U.S. ignored this warning, and Mr. Sella has never publicly explained a statement, but it stuck with me. As a scientist, engineer, and frequent traveler, as well as the first person to sue the TSA when they rolled out the scanners as primary in November of 2010, I studied and learned about both kinds of scanners used by the TSA. Here are several images produced by TSA nude body scanners. You'll see that the search victim is drawn with light colors and placed on a black background in both images. In these samples, the individuals are concealing metallic objects that you can see as a black shape on their light figure. Again, that's light figure, black background, and black threat items. Yes, that's right. If you have a metallic object on your side, it will be the same color as the background and therefore completely invisible to both visual and automated inspection. It can't possibly be that easy to beat the TSA's billion dollar fleet of nude body scanners, right? The TSA can't be that stupid, can they? Unfortunately, they can and they are. To put it to the test, I bought a sewing kit from the dollar store, broke out my eighth grade home ex skills, and sewed a pocket directly on the side of a shirt. Then I took a random metallic object, in this case, a heavy metal carrying case that would easily alarm any of the old metal detectors, and I walked through a backscatter x-ray at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. On video, of course. While I'm not about to win any videography awards for my hidden camera footage, you can watch as I walk through the security line with the metal object in my new side pocket. My camera gets placed on the conveyor belt and goes through its own x-ray, and when it comes out, I'm through, and the object never left my pocket. Maybe just a fluke. Okay, let's try again at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport through one of the TSA's newest machines, a millimeter wave scanner with automated threat detection built in. With the metallic object in my side pocket, I enter the security line, my device goes through its own x-ray, I pass through, and I exit with the object without any complaints from the TSA. And while I carried the metal case empty, by one of malintent it could have easily been filled with razor blades, explosives, or one of Charlie Sheen's infamous 7 gram rocks of cocaine. With a bigger pocket, perhaps on the inside of a shirt, even a firearm could get through. It's important to note that any metal object of any size can use this technique. And I don't urge you to try to bring contraband through security, as the nude body scanners often have false positives. So while the metal on your side might get through, a button on your shirt or a sweaty armpit might look suspicious and earn you a pat down anyway. Now, I'm sure the TSA will accuse me of aiding the terrorists by releasing this video, but it's beyond belief that the terrorists haven't already figured this out and are already plotting to use this against us. It's also beyond the belief that the TSA did not know everything that I just told you and arrogantly decided to disregard our safety. Anything to force Americans to give up our liberty to the federal government and our tax dollars to companies that are in bed with that government. The nude body scanner program is nothing but a giant fraud, which should come as no surprise after the Fast and the Furious scandal that sent thousands of guns to Mexican drug cartels and cost a Customs and Border Patrol agent his life. This is a disgrace. So let's fix this problem now before the terrorists take this opportunity to hurt us. The TSA must immediately end the new body scanner program and return to the tried and true metal detectors that actually work and work without invading our privacy, as well as implement better solutions for non-metallic explosives such as bomb sniffing dogs and trace detection machines. The TSA is worse than ineffective. They are an epic fail placing us all in danger. Beyond the scanners, demand of your legislators and presidential candidates that they get rid of this $8 billion a year waste known as the TSA and privatize airport security. Ask for their commitment to our rights in exchange for your vote. And no matter which party is in the White House or holds on to Capitol Hill, the issue of ending TSA abuse is of interest to all Americans. It's not a partisan issue. We must stand together and demand an end to the organization that molests our families while placing us in danger by directly ignoring blatant security flaws. Thank you.